edition of Henrico CTE. Now I am Rashawn Garnett, and with me I have Mike Roberts. And today we are again, Mike. They let us out the office again. So the podcast is really for parents and students. That's the target audience. And we want to send the message out there about what's offered here in Henrico County CTE, what kind of certifications they can get. And also talking to businesses about where those certifications can get them, whether it's going right into the world of work or they're going to need a little bit more school, which many businesses are actually paying for these days. So, Touch on the types of careers that are out there that are available to work in Virginia Power. You Not know, Mike Roberts, me and Mike, uh, we actually worked together prior to this podcast. Really knowledgeable guy about what we have to offer. Rashawn came and uh, asked me um, three years ago, because we're reaching the end of our third year, and asked if I wanted to be involved, and I was really excited. It's, I, nothing I'd ever done before. What does that mean to the person on the street? Yeah. I mean, it's one thing to, to talk about at the boardroom level. What is it done, right. you know, for us? So solar, uh, offshore wind. We do these shows. We want to make sure that we keep it light and keep it entertaining, but also get the message out about CTE, right? Take us down your career path. Did you guys take any CTE courses, maybe like you know, wood shop or anything like that? I was able to, like the CTE program, get some real world experience. It was really something that I thought that was going to be great to do to help expose students and the parents to CTE and everything that we do. Why do you think, in your opinion, why do you think periodical education is important? The hands-on experience side of it, I think, is really valuable for students who are trying to figure out where they want to go in life. If you want to learn about engineering, we try to get an engineer to talk to. If you want to learn about masonry, we talk to masons. So we really want to make it real for these students and connect classroom to real world. And that's what the podcast is all about, making it real for the students, making it real for the parents. What kind of impact can a student make in the, in the energy pathway? I think maybe the simplest way of answering that question is our industry, if you just stop and think about it, we are a service industry. So It's really interesting to get out in the field. We have a mobile kit to get out to locations and to be able to meet people where it was convenient for them. Uh, I think that also helps them to, to lighten up and, and feel less uh, stressed about you know being interviewed. Mike said I had it right, so yep. you know, I got confidence back now. <laughs> we just passed 6,000 viewers and we are in 26 countries. And that is one of the most amazing things that I found out about this, is that the last country we added was Algeria. And it's just, it's cool to, to pop it in the morning and turn on your computer and look at the, the information from the day before and to see, you know, who's listening to us and find another, there's another country, somebody else from another country is, is listening to us. And it's really exciting that that's happening. So yes, that's what it's about. It's about getting the word out by uh, really any means necessary, by social media, uh, by the podcast. Make sure you guys check us out, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, all at the handle Henrico CTE. So also check out HenricoCTE.com. Find out all the awesome things that CTE has to offer for you, for your student. Parents and, and students take notice, CTE is growing, and we're trying to help you be successful after high school, whether you want to be enrolled, enlisted, or employed. This has been Henrico CTE Now. Until next time, so long, everyone. At Greenwood, we are one family, but we have these five different houses that the students are all sorted into um, in a magical way. And we wanted to create a system that kind of bridged the gap across classrooms so that students at all different grade levels could interact with each other. It lets the kids have peers that they can connect to and teachers they can connect to who they might not get to interact with on a daily basis. It's all about inclusion and family and making sure our kids are living our Gator values and having pride not only in, in the house that they get put into, uh, but our school in general. How great! You're great! We're grateful for you! So grateful! Sean, let's go, buddy! When you come in as a kindergartner, it's a really big deal. It's very exciting. The children don't know what house they're going to be in. It's very special. So you come in thinking, what house am I going to get? What house? We just don't know. So then all the kindergarten children are placed in a house. So that's one way that you can get a house. The other way, if you're a student, is if you're new to Greenwood and you're in a different grade, one through five, you can spin the wheel. Right. And then once you're placed in a house, you're in that house for the entire time you're at Greenwood. And we like to think forever.
So we are House Gratos, and there's our, our symbol is the star. Oh, we are star. Can you trust us? Yes, you can. Can you trust us? We are family. What's that sound? Respect. Kula. Kula. So the houses, they are the five gator values, and they go along with our mascot also, so G-A-T-O-R. The first one is Gratos and that's uh, Italian, and it's for, for grateful. Accountable is our house Taji. They're the purple house, and they wear crowns. Their symbol is the elephant. Tatonka is Tatonka strong and trustworthy. Optimistic house is house soul. They are yellow, and that's Mr. Stein's house, so it's a big deal. And then Kula is for family, and that's respectful. And we're here to celebrate one special house. On the count of three, let's shout out that house. One, two, three. We're having a Unity Day this year for each of the five houses, and that Unity Day is supposed to really celebrate where the house comes from, the history behind the house. And of course, we are House Gratos. It hails from the Italian peninsula in Europe. Once upon a time, there was a little dragon named Gratos, but he was it's about the spirit and the energy. It's getting to interact with other groups and feeling that family bond. You have pride in your house. You love your house. And at the same time, you respect and you love all the other houses. It's five houses, one family. I think the house system is the best thing we have done at Greenwood. Um, I came here my first year, the first year that the house system started, and I went from knowing zero kids to I knew my class, I knew the rest of the Kula in third grade, I knew the Kula throughout the school. And it really just brought me into the community immediately. Excited to be here for the 23rd annual Tee Off for Education golf tournament supporting Henrico Education Foundation and Henrico County Public Schools. <laughs> it's really a fun day for folks to come out and get on the golf course and provide critical funds that help support our students and teachers. Funds from today's tournament will support innovative grants in the classroom, uh, professional development for teachers, as well as curriculum and programs for our students in the classroom. Party. This year we raised a little over $50,000 that comes back uh, right here to Henrico County to support our students in our schools. We've been supporting the Henrico Education Foundation tournament for years. Uh, we've been very fortunate to partner with uh, Henrico schools uh, in the design of their projects for at least the last 20 years, and so we support them every chance we get. Yes, 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 yeah, baby! <laughs> Woo! Drew, yeah. I feel like you yeah. take it. Yeah. Hey, man, that's yeah. big, baby! All right. Yeah. win all around. So students are, are winning, Strawberry Shields is winning, and hopefully the parents and community are winning also. So it's a win all around. Maintain that birdie run. It's the marker. It's the marker. The vending machine was bought to honor the legacy of our former librarian, Nancy Essid. Nancy was an amazing community member at Ridge, and one thing that she instilled in all of us and the students is her love for reading, and we knew that that would be something to honor her when she decided to retire. 
Here at Ridge, we're a PBIS school, which is Positive Behavior Intervention System. So they are rewarded for their safe, responsible, and respectful behavior. So as they earn dollars, they can save up to buy a token to come to the vending machine and grab their book. The vending machine really fit her legacy really well. To have the kids get excited about getting new books and just to continue sharing her love of reading and literature. Henrico Heroes is excited to start the new school year. We are anticipating the arrival of our students and can't wait to engage with our schools. We know students thrive when they feel a sense of belonging and the positive relationships that they form through our mentoring program will inspire them to see the potential that we see in them. Now more than ever, our students need us to champion for them. If you're interested in mentoring a student on a weekly basis this school year from October to May, it's easy to get started. You can apply by going to henricoheroes.henricoschools.us. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click apply now. Once you've applied, register for mentor training at www.tinyurl.com slash be a hero today. Two very quick and easy steps will lead to lasting impact. Join us today. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. The trees stand tall. Mother, mother, you tell me to stay rooted. The tree's roots go deep. You tell me to focus on my breath, and the trees breathe for the earth. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? Will you be the kind that makes shade? Or the kind that shows a new way? Might you be the kind to hug? Or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. The child had a few more questions after that, and the forest had plenty of answers. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. We're excited about a new center that's coming at Herman. It's going to be the Allied Healthcare Center. When you look at the growing needs in our society, eight of the ten fastest growing careers are in healthcare. And this is an opportunity for students to come in, not only learn about the options, but be prepared to move right into those options after high school and be prepared to move into post-secondary training because they're going to gain stackable credentials. So when you're coming in, regardless of where your starting point is, 
you're gonna have a four-year plan that's kind of mapped out for you, if you will, with some choices in the middle. Starting students off as freshmen, so they come in to gain knowledge about medical terminology, gaining information about exploration of what they might wanna do as a career. They're gonna have an opportunity to get dual enrollment credits and, and actually start out when you leave from us almost entering college as a sophomore, which is a huge advantage, plus financial savings there. As we've been developing this program, we're actually working with J. Sergeant Reynolds. So the students will be getting dual enrollment and moving into their post-secondary programs that Reynolds offers, but it's certificate program. So our students will be earning industry credentials, and it can be anything from your EMT certification to your practical nursing license to sports medicine. All of our programs, students will walk out with something that when they go to apply for a job or move forward in the post-secondary, they're one step above just your average high school student. Surrounding us, we have tons of business partners within a 10-mile radius already here at the Hermitage campus, which gives us a great advantage. So workplace learning will be a huge part of what these students are going to do. They're going to spend time doing hands-on skills. They're going to be learning how to, not just the information taking notes. They're going to be getting their hands, rolling up their sleeves, getting their hands dirty, doing ride-alongs with local EMTs. They're going to get a real life uh, view of what happens on the street, as well as if they're going into the nursing homes and getting a real life view of what's going on at tape for patient care. Um, giving them as much hands-on real life opportunity is priceless versus just sitting in the classroom. That part we have to have as well, but getting them involved in our community with our various business partners is going to be a great piece of how we're going to bring all this together. The Center for Environmental Science and Sustainability is a brand new specialty center that we're offering. Um, it's going to be based out of Bryna High School and it's going to be an awesome experience for the students where they can have field work, we're going to really focus on internships and making sure that the students really get hands-on with the science. Learning about the environment and sustainable best practices is something that I believe is of high interest to a lot of students. But I think in particular, you know, we're talking about students who, who enjoy the outdoors. So students who, who would like to be by the river, they're out in the parks, they're researching, they're collecting, they're gathering, um, you know, different information to, to bring back to the classroom to support their learning. Verina High School is a prime location for a center such as this. Um, Verina is uh, in close proximity to a lot of natural areas. So we're talking about Dory Park, a Deep Bottom Park, you have the James River, Capitol Trail Run, just to name a few. Any student that has an interest in science is going to be a great fit for it. Or honestly, students who want to be hands-on with their science. So kind of getting that field work, getting that experience. Uh, we're going to have some dual enrollment classes, so they'll be able to get uh, dual enrollment credit as well. So if you're looking to kind of get ahead on college, um, it's a great way to do that uh, through Henrico County. We're going to have internships, we're going to have externships, we're going to have service learning built into our curriculum. Uh, but the students are going to get a really good experience of what a, a possible career path, and, and we have some awesome community partners lined up um, that we're really excited to work with. This, I believe, will be a high interest center because different companies and corporations have really taken an interest to learning more about the environment, wanting to engage in practices that allow for more clean living. So, you know, there are a lot of jobs that, that are just right for our students to engage with when they graduate from Verona High School, Center for Environmental Science and Sustainability. Dad? Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you.
can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Work in the rest of the year. 